Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on, people? This is Influence. Welcome back. And this is Iguanis. Uh, my first legacy figure. And I don't ha have no idea who this character is. I've never seen it before in my life. Um, not versed with everything Transformers. Mostly what I know is G1, of course. But I do know some Prime. I do know some, uh, some R.I.D. Beast Wars. You know, I, I have some knowledge in different things. But this character, I definitely don't have knowledge in. I actually like... This character, though, I'm a sucker for uh, motorcycles. If you're wondering why I bought it, and it's kind of, uh, kind of like a motorcycle. So we'll get into his accessories, which the box is the first accessory, and nothing spectacular. It's a little, it's Legends Core Class, whatever you want to call it. They call it Core Class now, but it's kind of basically Legends. And the second, uh, accessory is his gun. As you can see, he holds his gun well. But it's a small port, which if I had any complaint, it would be why have this and just why not make just a big port in his hand. But I guess they didn't want it to be that big since it's essentially a Legends class figure uh, for our purposes. So you have to put it in like this and then you get this unfortunate big peg underneath here because that's how it fits in everywhere else. You also can stick this back here. And can we can I find the, the thing? <laughs> so you stick that back here, and this is how that looks. I kind of like his colors. You see his color scheme. Uh got his wheels. See his face, his head sculpt. It looks like a lizard. Pretty much. So let's take his accessory off. Let me just check out accessory real quick up close. It's just this thing. Nothing spectacular, but it looks fine. It's great. It matches. There you go. And now we have this guy. So first, let's do some comparisons before I get into articulation. This is Galvatron. So you can see how big he is. I have Galvatron. This is not the leg, uh, legend, leg, legends, L legacy Galvatron. Getting confused now, but this is a uh, mm, I can't even think of what Galvatron this is. It slipped my brain. You know, I'm not a super uh, mainline collector, but I do get a few figures here and there. And I believe the Legacy Galvatron just has different colors, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me in the comments. Feel free. Then I have a Legends figure here, which is a unique Toys Legends figure. Just part of their headmaster uh line. They are about the same size. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool if you wanted to use that with your regular legends. Let's get into the figure. Let's go through articulation. This shouldn't be a long video. You can go back and forth. You can get his head kind of up a little bit. Not really. Not too much. It moves about this much, which is next to nothing. From telling the truth. You can move his arms all the way around, but they do hit this back here. So it doesn't really get all the way around. Get his shoulders up. One thing I can say about this figure and the other, I do have a uh, bulkhead and blaster, which I'm going to do reviews on both of those. The legends, the legends, I keep saying the legends, legacy figures seem to be well put together, solid, and I know this is small, but even the larger figures just seem like they're more put together, more solid, more tolerance than the other figures. So in that respect, I think they're on to something. I think they're getting, they, they keep improving, and, I, and I'm glad because of the price point uh, extending, you know, the price point going up. But I mean, that's another story. That's another topic that we can get into maybe at some time. But for now, here we go. Let's keep on with the articulation. So I'll try not to get sidetracked. You got ball joints for the elbows. So of course you get a swivel at the elbow 
and you got a swivel for transformation. You get a a bend, the elbow bend, which is a little tiny bit more than 90 degrees, and the hands are just fixed. You have a waist swivel, no ab crunch, of course, on this small figure. You get the splits about that much, which ain't ain't a whole lot, and you do get the hurdles. His tail might hit the hurdle, but you do get the hurdles over top. You got his knees. They get a little more than 90, but not much more. And, of course, you got the swivel up here. You can do that stuff. And you have his feet on ball joints, so he has the rocker that way. He has a little bit that way. He has down, and he has up about that like that. And, of course, you can spin it all the way around due to that ball joint. And I think that is it. So we can get into transformation now, which isn't that difficult, but it has its steps. So you just pull this up. When I first, all everything is tolerance, like super tight. So I was kind of iffy about doing some of this stuff. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right, but uh, you just pull that up all the way. And then you can put this over. There's two pegs, peg there and peg there. It pegs into his shoulders here and here where it needs to be. See how hard that is? It wants to, it's weird because it wants to stop here. It feels like, but you can push it up and it doesn't feel great. There's a little spot for his head piece. Then you put this in there and it goes in there. So you got that part. Now you got the wheels to contend with. Move the wheels out like that. You can move this around like this. And then move this around like this move this around like this there we go so we're prepared so now you want to move these down and then you can see the back of his hands have a bigger hole which is the bigger peg and that's how you can put his hands into there and there's a little hollow bits right there that fit into that they kind of peg into there You get it in, and then you just peg this on, on the back side. And it's all right. It doesn't, it's not the greatest connection, but it, it stays. It stays. You can move this down like this and over, because that's the final position, just to get it out of the way. Then move this down. Move this in like this, because the spikes are supposed to be pointing forward. There you go with that. Now this I've, I've already done, you know, the switcheroony. And then you move this down like this and you move this around and in. Move that in there like that. And that's how it goes. Got confused for a minute. Turned around. But yeah, you shouldn't because it only fits one way. So you move it down, turn this around, and flex it in. Then put it in however you can. There you go. And you can peg, you got two pegs on the legs that you can kind of move up and peg into the side here. And then you know that you have it right and it stays uh If I can get it. I do like that they seem to have everything in place. Everything is minimum hollow bits, even on the Legends figure. So then you got that. So it uh, stays right. And you're pretty done. You can take this and put it up here. Like I said, they could have done away with this little peg because it kind of out of place to me. But I mean, that's a nitpick. Also, this thing combines with two of the other weapons. I think hot rods and uh, I don't know, Megatrons, maybe the sword. I'm not sure, but it combines together with those weapons. No playability. And here you go. 
little makeshift uh, motorcycle. I like it. I mean, it, it, it's not much. It is what it is before a little bot like this. And it rolls. It doesn't have a kickstand, unfortunately. At least I haven't found one uh, yet. Not sure. No, I don't think there is one. I doubt it. But yeah, it can roll. You see it has some rolling to it before it stops. Yeah, that's it. Got the symbol here. Decepticon symbol. And it just looks like him on his back, really. Or laying down, just like a lot of motorcycle transformers. And that's it. There we go. Let's go the other way. Let's pull these out. It's going to be super quick. Move this up here like this. Move this out. Move this out. Then move these this way. Move this this way. Then you can move this like this. At the same time, you can move this up here. Get the tail in the back. Get the feet right. Then move this back here. And this kind of goes around that right there. And then these two uh, pegs right here peg in to keep the wheels up. So I think that's a nice touch. Keeps everything together. How you need it to be. Slap his accessory in and you're golden. And there we go. This has been Iguanus. All right. Thank you for joining me for this video and enjoy your day wonderfully. Ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.